Well, howdy, y'all. How you fellers doing? <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to a new episode. Today, we're going to be doing something pretty fun. We're going to be taking these villagers right here in this pit, and we are going to minecart them into a brand new room in there. And guess what? We're going to use them to create an automatic farm. More specifically, I think I'm just going to do carrots. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do carrots and potatoes. I haven't really decided yet, but we're going to be doing one or the other. And I'll go ahead and show you the room right now that we're doing this to. If you remember, you go down one of these staircases and then you hook a left or a right if you're coming on the other side and we have our minecart system that goes to our xp mob farm down there and over here i mined out this entire room and this is where the automatic farm's gonna go i also started this little like side pieces i think there's gonna be a little side thing that extends out here and over there i'm not sure what i'm gonna put in there maybe it'll just be like a fancy like farm looking storage areas on both sides i haven't really decided yet but we'll figure that out as we go along my inventory's still full with all the all the items from last episode that we got in the trials chamber because I quite literally did the trials chambers came back to my base did an outro stopped recording and then now it's the next day and I immediately woke up and just started recording this intro for this video so my inventory is still all full with all that stuff because I haven't done anything else in between last episode and this episode but yeah that's what we're going to be working on for today I think first things first before we start putting these guys over in there we're going to have to do a little bit of building the farm well, actually, we're going to have to build the entire farm first before we start putting these guys over there. And I still want to keep a couple in here because I do want to eventually make an automatic iron farm as well. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of breeding. But luckily, our farm over here, our crappy farm that we're trying to get rid of this episode, all the crops are fully grown. So we'll be able to breed them. No problem. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and go over there and get started. I'll show you what, how we're going to build this farm and everything. So that way, I, I guess if you want to, you can replicate it as well well it's not hard to find there's tutorials how to do this exact farm on youtube so you don't need to watch my video for it but if you do then uh thank you <laughs> i really appreciate it okay i am back and i have a little bit of an update so i went ahead and did just a tiny bit of it off camera just so i could make sure i get this right so basically what we have is these squares that are nine by nine and in the center they funnel into some chests so this hopper right here goes straight down and then the corner little hoppers right here whatever you want to call them they feed into the center and what i've done is created this ladder and it, just as a side note i'm gonna make this look better probably not in this episode but i'll probably have some other kind of entrance that comes down here but for now i'm in a bit of a rush to get this video out because i need to get this one done or else there's gonna be a week in august where there's no video so some corners i might have to be taken in terms of like making everything look good like i'll probably skip down here not doing this so what we have is five rows of chests so you see we have one two three four and five each one funnels in to itself and then this hopper right there funnels into this top chest and then the hopper above that is the one that goes straight down that has all the hoppers connected to it and of course you can modify it as needed by the way i can't remember if i uh, had mentioned this but i gathered all the supplies that i needed ahead of time i think i glossed over that that little part right there but yeah i, I grabbed all the materials that i think we're gonna need so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and fill out these nine by nine squares squares all with dirt and then except for the center block so yeah let me go ahead and do that real quick okay now that we got all these filled out we're just gonna go ahead and use our water buckets here and place a water source in each one of these like so bing bong. all right and then a composter on top of all of these by all of these i mean over the over the little water source here last one there we go and then we want a light block on top of them i just did glowstone because that's what i had <laughs> there we go so now it's looking like this now our next step is going to be pretty simple all we need to do is just go and till all of this dirt here and then plant the crops that we're going to do i'm just going to cut to it when i finish that because there's no point in showing you that because i don't have a hoe on me so i got to go <laughs> make one till all this and then i also got to go and collect all of my crops and stuff because i have not collected all the crops that i need which i think i need is it four or five stacks? I don't know, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do all carrots. Just make it simple so that way I have a lot of good carrot trades with my villagers up there. And I just like carrots because you don't gotta cook them. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I will cut back in once I am finished with that step. 
All right, so I finished planting all the crops. Like I said, I went with carrots here and I'm having a problem with lighting and stuff. So I had to put a bunch of torches around and everything. But regardless of that, the next step is we're going to place it. We placed or I should say I placed a block on all of these corners right here. We're going to take planks and just build up twice like this. And then we're going to build out like so all the way to the end plus uh, plus one block, which unfortunately I didn't take into consideration for. So look, it covers our hole. But yeah, so I said I was going to create a different entrance to go down there to the chests anyways. So I'll do that probably at a later date or later in this video. We will see. But yeah, go ahead and build up twice like so and then just build out like this again, making sure it overhangs one. And I will go ahead and do that on these other two two as well and then once that's done we we're gonna place slabs all the way around one block or half a block lower and just basically connect it this is basically gonna apparently stop the villagers from interacting with each other i guess so that way they don't try to breed or anything like that they just focus on growing crops all right and just like that we have this now there's a little bit of a better angle for you it looks like that so if you're following along at home, make sure you're paying extra attention right now because this is a very difficult step. But grab your rails and place them like this. Very hard, right? I told you so. I think the only thing left to really do now other than like decorating the place is to just start carting the villagers in here. So we're going to have one in the center, obviously, and then one in each little like crop field, I guess you could say. So what that means is I got to go back outside. Can I sleep? Oh, yep, I can't sleep. So what that means is I'm going to have to go back outside and I'm going to have to I can go ahead and cart two villagers over here. I want to leave two in there because I got to breed them because like I said, I want leftover villagers to be out there. I don't want all of those to to be put in there plus i need an additional one anyways even if i was only going to use these guys and not breed them i would still need an additional one so yeah let me go ahead and set up the tracks and i'm gonna mine cart using the tracks two of the villagers in there and then with two remainder ones in there i'm just gonna go ahead and breed them so this is basically the setup I got going. I've been breeding these guys and, you know, there's a button there. You place the minecart there. You get them in the minecart. You press the button. They actually will go through the block and they'll take one tick of damage, but it's not that bad. And then they just get taken all the way into the room over there, which I'll show you. All the way down here, they come up this and then they just get shot off into their respective little square. As you can see, this is the next square that I'm going to have a villager go into is here. And then once I got one there, I'll put one there and then finally. Finally, the last step is to get one right here in the center and then we'll have to place some blocks there to get them to do the correct things and all that however I don't know the correct terminology but you'll see you'll see so yeah so let me get these guys in their correct spots and then I'll be back okay so real quick I'm testing out new microphone settings because I'm in the process of recording another very special video on there and I had to tweak my microphone settings so if it this part of the video sounds not as good or something like that it'll be be fixed i know exactly how to fix it but i just need to test it for like a normal recording just to see how it is i apologize if it is it shouldn't be though it should not yeah just in case it does sound weird it'll, it'll get fixed just fyi but we are on the final step i have got all these guys in their respective spots as you can see all four and this guy's straight in the middle and i think I can leave them in this minecart. I'm not sure, but I think I can. We're going to find out though, but our next step is we're going to go ahead and put all of these in here like so. And I'm, I probably will have to get in there and kind of like, you know, I don't know what the word is, finagle it. Yeah. So let me hop down right here. Let me try to push him into the center here. Oh, I don't know if he's going to. Can I? I wonder if I can. I, I suppose I can break these. So let me see. Okay. Um rats uh, uh, i want to push this one over here you know more center oh no how do i get out uh yeah i'm gonna have to build i guess uh let me break this i'll replant it eh eh come on please let me don't trap me in here <laughs> please no i'm trapped in here oh no what do i do oh these guys are in these guys are still in minecart so i'm good i'm good i'm good okay okay uh let me destroy this one then and go like this okay so i think these like corner crops are just gonna have to get destroyed unfortunately no 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 um oh let me just try nudge no don't go this way don't go that way it's going that way Let's try just doink. No, 
I just want it to stay there. Like, I want it to stop. You know, probably the best solution is going... Can I put a block there now? I can put a block there now. Let me go like this. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, okay. I need uh, blocks now. I want to put one in each of these corners right here. Can I pick that up? I can't pick that up. Let me grab some blocks real quick. Cobblestone will do. Okay, so we have to put a block in... Oh, this guy's not centered now. Okay, you know what? Let me... I think I had to put blocks like this anyways. So let me do this... No, you mother flooper. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Accident. Accident. Okay, don't use sword anymore. What got... I'm confused as to what I'm looking at here. So I think I got it. I cut the camera to get this done, and then I realized I probably should show you what I have done before I, I get too far ahead of myself. But I basically got him completely centered. There is minecart mine hoppers on each side of him. I placed the block on the edge in kind of like the corners of the plus, and then I placed trap doors, each going in their own direction. So I went like this. This is what I did. I went right here, placed one right here. I came right here, placed it right on this side, placed it there, and then placed it there. So they're each going in their own direction now. So that should be good. Um, I hope so. I don't really want to have to redo this because this was kind of a pain in the butt. I think this was the hardest part of the entire thing. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but it was not super duper easy. So let me go get just like a wooden hoe or something and some carrots and replant this. And then I think we can go ahead and take these guys out of their little, oh, what you call it there. Oh, they're minecarts. <laughs> no, that's not supposed to happen. How can I stop that from happening? I could probably place should have placed it the track going this way shouldn't i okay well i'm not done all right i fixed it i just changed the track going in that way so it should be good i think so you hear that noise is it like does it think he's moving or something so it's playing the the track noise you hear that huh interesting okay let me go get a hoe real quick and then we will replant those carrots oh i have a hoe right here i'll just use this all right, the carrots are planted. I hope this works. I am not in the mood to try to redo this. Um, I'm going to have to get in there, I think. This guy should... There we go. Give me that. And then we'll do this right here. Build out. Break that. And then... Hoe this. And put another carrot down. There we go. Okay, so we'll have to do that for all the... Actually, this guy might be able to reach... Or I'll definitely be able to reach this guy without... Where'd this extra minecart come from? Let me just try not to hit a crop. There we go. Oh, it was the minecart from... <laughs> I was wondering where that minecart came from. It's these guys. All right. Last but not least, let's build out of this. Oh, uh, where's my pick? There's my pick. Hold this. Plant that. All right, there we go. Oh, look, I think they're doing it. They're trading. Okay, so his inventory, if I understand this correctly, his inventory should eventually fill up once they trade with him or interact with him. And then we would start seeing carrots fill up these chests down here. Uh, let me do it like this. There we go. I made this little hole, as you can see. Okay, well, there's carrots in here. I have some of the stuff that I've been mining. Let's see. I'm going to put that. So we have 29 carrots right here. Let me... I guess check this footage since I had mentioned my microphone might need some adjustments and let's see if we get more than 29 carrots if we're getting carrots in there then then we're golden we have an, a working automatic villager carrot farm that's good that's good news let's see let's take a, a peek either yep they're taking stuff and replanting it so that's good all right so like I said let me go check the footage here real quick and then we will come back and check the chests Okay, so the audio is perfect, and I've been AFKing here just a few minutes because I don't think we need very long to test to see if this is going to work because the farms were pretty much already grown when they were put in here. So let's go down there and see if we have more than, I was it 29 carrots, I believe? 31 carrots, it seems to be working, so I think we got ourselves an automatic carrot farm here. My little minions are doing my bidding. Hey, get back to work. Hey, you get back to work too. What are y'all doing? Quit looking at me. Get, get... Go, I see grown crops there. Go, go, 
go. Don't make me do it. I'm hoping I did everything right and it's running as efficiently as possible. Like, I hope all four of these guys are successfully trying to trade with the dude in the middle because I absolutely do want to maximize the amount of carrots I get. So I'm hoping I did that right. I, I guess we'll see. Maybe somebody in the comment section will be like, no, 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 no. You got to tweak this so that way they'll more efficiently do this. But uh, <laughs> until until that happens, if that does happen, I guess we're just going to assume that this is working at peak performance. But yeah, really, the only thing that's left to do is make this room not so ugly i don't really know how i want to design the floors and the walls and stuff again like i said a bit of a rush to get this video out so i don't know if i will fully you know design everything um because i'm not sure how i want to make it to where i access the chests down there quite yet and these little side rooms that i plan on making i might save that and make that as part of like i plan on doing a video where we create the entire storage system so my normal chests which will probably include this because i want these little areas to be a little nice little decorated storage areas so i'll probably include that in there and not this video but for now we can go ahead and fix the walls the floor and the ceilings again i'm not too sure how exactly i want to design it though i'm not the most creative person but i do want it to look good so i might have to look up and see some designs and see what i like and maybe tweak those or or something i don't know we'll see but for now i'll go ahead and cut let me figure out what it is that i want to do and then i'll be back Okay, so I'm still not entirely sure what kind of design I want to go with, but I'm going to do a little time lapse thing here. Maybe not time lapse the entire build, but just a little bit of it, just because it would be kind of cool, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and get started building, and yeah, I will be back once I'm finished with all this. <laughs> Would you look at that? So this is what I came up with. Um, we might come through here later and make it look better. I'm not sure how I like the leaves and stuff. I like the leaves on the roof part, but th this stuff right here, I'm not sure if I like. I was just tr trying to get, you know, a little creative i guess you could say but yeah i think this is done so far like i said these little rooms right here we're gonna do it in the episode that we do our storage system so i just didn't really want to include that in this episode since you know i had mentioned multiple times trying to get this episode out so that way there's not a week without an episode in between episodes i'll probably design how i want this to look like how i want the entrance to be where i want the entrance to be maybe designed down here too as you can see from just doing all that work look how many carrots we've gotten it's not too bad for something that's completely automatic it's not bad at all yeah this is our automatic farm i think it came out great let me know down in the comment section what you think of it and the improvements you think i should do anything at all just let me know just let me know down below anyways guys i gotta bounce i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or don't your choice yeah i think that's gonna be it later